Hey, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. This is Bruce Up Interior. So um, today I'm gonna be doing a mini uh, home goods haul and um, just showing some things I picked up uh, throughout the store. I finally had the time to go in there by myself without the kids, without the husband, quietly to go through each and every aisle, walk back and forth, ladies, you know how you do. You kind of walk out, kind of got to look at it. You know, you want to touch it, feel it. You want to see what matches up with this. You know, you kind of just want to take your time and do it right. So that's what I did today. So what I found were these little bowls, little pasta bowls for $9.99. Um, I forgot, no, Heartland Hive is who makes them. Heartland Hive. And they came in a pack of four. And they're just so good because, um, you know, it's really good for just your pasta dishes. And it's just so cute. Um, I already had four of these, actually. I had got them from another store, but I broke one, so I was low on one of them. So if a set of four of these were like um, $12.99, which was a pretty good buy. Again, Heartland Hive. And I actually have one. These are bigger, um, wider. Um, so a little bit bigger. I like the fact that these were kind of smaller. Good portion control. I don't know if you can see the difference in that. But yeah. And these are, they're really about the same in, in weight and everything. So I thought it was a really good buy. Um, can't go wrong with white dishes or white bowls. You know, I needed some dish towels. Um, you know, you can't go wrong with enough dish towels because some get dirty. Uh, you know, you're drying dishes, you're wiping your hands, you're cooking with something on your shoulder. Sauce pops, boop. There's your nice pretty new dish towel. But you can't go wrong with them, right? So I grabbed these two, they came in a set of two. Got this pretty detail on it and it feels good. These were $7.99 for the two. It's a pretty good, decent um, towel. Um, and no, these are not bathroom towels, they're actually dish towels i did find them in the correct department but you know you could always put in there as a you know hand towel in your bathroom your guest room your powder room things like that but you know and i always like to match my uh hand towels or my dish towels with my kitchen so these are really cool 7.99 i couldn't beat them and again if you ever need any dish towels or anything like that you always go to pop in home goods and you can just find some really expensive ones just to hold you, you know, or just to get some really good quality ones for not so not so much money. All right, so um, lately the trend is coffee table books. Coffee table books, you may see that right here, coffee table books. And um, I usually keep coffee table books, of course, on my coffee table, but I also like to decorate with them too. Um, so I may have them stacked um, in a credenza, on top of credenza, give things some height. Um, I also have some in my bedroom too. Um, those are more like um, clothing, fashion, shoes, things like that. But I found this one, which is Beautiful Machines, the era of the elegant sports car. And this is for my husband. He likes sports cars. And um, we thought it was a really good book. It has a really pretty spine. It's really good and thick. We like the length of it. And just going through here, the pictures in here are really, really nice. We got everything from a Jaguar to a BMW to Ferrari to a Plymouth uh, Superbird, yeah, Alfa Romeo. So um, just really nice cars, just really nice picture books to look at. Um, and again, I just like to stack them, mix and match them and everything like that. So this is a good buy. And this one was actually $24.99. So it's a really good price. And for those who have been in Home Goods lately, they have slowly been creeping in with the coffee table books. I mean, it's just been completely like almost a whole end cap of nothing but just coffee table books. Small, big, thick, anything from uh, shoes and clothes or to as much as like I've seen stuff with Marvel or um, no, no, wait, wait. Not DNC. DC? Look, I'm not a, I'm not a Marvel girl. I like Marvel. So you can find 
any kind of coffee table books from there and they range in prices and um they're really good prices and of course you can always go to amazon too but um just walking through and i found this and i really liked it so it was a good buy i found this guy so pretty so tall and i've really been into faces a lot lately uh, and this is a perfect base i didn't realize it was a base until i got home and i kind of have um another uh head that i use in my decor i'm going to show you one second so this is theo i like to call it theo and this is i don't know I don't know what his name is. I didn't think of a name for him yet. I got him first. Maybe I should have thought of a name for him, but I just like these faces and these heads, and they're not exactly the same, and they're different purposes. So, of course, this is not a vase. It's just a head. This one is a vase. I haven't used it for one yet, but again, something about these faces drive me just, I don't know. I'm, in, I'm into it. Jonathan Adler, A-D-L-E-R, Jonathan Adler. Um, these are like a spin on his things. Um, he has a lot of, he uses a lot of faces in his decor, his vases. Um, so whenever I find one, I really like them, black and white preferably. Um, this one I use all the time for my flowers, put them on the kitchen table, uh, put them in my kitchen, put it in my living room. It's just, um, just a, a piece of talk, I think. All right, so. We'll put the unnamed friend and Theo back here. Okay, keep an eye on me. And I just want to show you guys this last thing. So, I really take, my bathroom has kind of been last on the list, and it still is, because I just definitely want to get my, my downstairs together. Um, the kids' room is together. My bedroom is, eh, it's about 60% there. I got the major pieces there. I need to decorate more. But, Got this really pretty trash receptacle. And I love it because it's got the wood at the bottom. My uh, bathroom is gray and my countertops have this marble finish. So I thought this would be great. Of course, I gotta line it, you know. I don't wanna just leave it empty. Um, just cause, you know, nasty stuff get in there. But I'm gonna have to get some like really nice like trash bags, not grocery bags, but trash bags that you put in there. You gotta make it look nice. So that's what I got. This one was $24. Yeah, $24.99. And it's nice and sturdy. It could almost pass for a potter, if you really think about it, or a um, planter. But uh, that was all that I got today. Oh. I'm talking like I didn't find one of the cutest things ever. So for those who are following, I am redoing my front room, which is my lounge. It's part lounge, part office, but I really want a space for adults only. So when I have company over, you want to come and grab a drink, listen to some records, have some good adult conversation, we go into the lounge. And I found this, I found this really cute mirror. Super cute. It was $19.99. And my vibe is mid-century modern vibe. Um, and so when you walk into the lounge, I want you to feel like you have, um, maybe you not exactly transported, but I feel like I want to feel like you're there almost. You want to feel like you're in a swanky, cool, uh, chill lounge or bar room area whatever you want to call it. I plan on having this mirror on a wall somewhere. Um, it's not going to be like the, the focal point in the room because I have some other stuff coming. Wait for it. I've already ordered some other stuff for the room, which I'm going to be posting on Spruce Up Interior as well. But this is just something to add to the room, add to the space. But I love it. I thought it was cute. Um, I was really, I saw it before. I had walked by and I was like, that's really cute. But I said, I don't know. I'm indecisive. I'm indecisive. But, I thought it was a good buy, and I thought it would look cute as well. I also have um, a side table I purchased. 
So let me get y'all to come with me. First of all, we love this maple color. Um, a lot of our furniture is kind of like this color, like a medium uh, brown. Um, I love the fact that it was angular. It had a lot of uh, dimension to it. The wood is not like lacquered or it's not, you know, anything cheap. It's solid wood for, for sure. But I like the fact that it's rough, um, got some color to it. It just, it just has some texture, some movement to it, which I really like. So this is um, our newest addition to our living room and we really, really enjoy it. It's a perfect height for our, um, for our couch. And you know, if you have a drink here, it's just, you're not like putting it up too high. You're not dropping your drink down, it's just right here. So yeah, but this is, this is what we did. This is what I found. So um, stick around. Uh, thank you for watching and I appreciate it. Bye.